guys, what's up? Okay, so I've got three boxes to show you guys today. I've got Fizz the Love, Twisted Allure, and Cat Crafted Baths, which has not been delivered today, actually. Um, during my snowstorm, it got misplaced somewhere at the post office, and Cat was absolutely awesome. She called the post office, and she tracked it down for me, and it's going to be delivered sometime today. So I'm just going to add that in after I unbox these at the end of the video. So I will put all of them in this video, but I don't have it quite yet. But just thank you so much, Kat. That was so awesome. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I'm going to start with these two, and then in the next video or two, I'm going to go ahead and put all my holiday giveaway items together and do a video and a giveaway for you guys too. So I'm excited about that. Okay, let's go ahead and start with Fizz the Love. I'm going to put this one back here. Now, I think these are going to be, okay, I'll just, I guess I'll do this under here. I think these are going to be absolutely adorable. I've never seen anything quite like these. Um, and, of course, you guys know that I live to see stuff that I've never seen anybody do anything quite like. And I think that Rachel is just so amazing. Um, I think she's a great talent, and I think she's just really original, and I just love her stuff. Okay, so these are her little snowmen. Look at all the little candy. My daughter loves candy canes. She will be getting those. And let me show you her card real quick. There you go. Okay, so Okay, let's, oh my gosh. Okay, yes, yeah, so her stuff is just packed just impeccably. Okay, so I'm just gonna, hmm, I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox. Let's see. Mm, I don't know. It looks like there might be some extra stuff in here. She's so awesome. And I've only gotten stuff from her once, but what I got from her was amazing. I got the, um, the giant snowman and the giant snowflake. And I would have ordered more in this box, but honestly, you guys, I've got so much that I'm never going to get through it anytime soon. So I did not want to order more from her than I could use anytime soon. Or this this order would be huge. Um, and a lot of this stuff is for, for you guys, for giveaways. So, um, okay. Let me just look at this. Okay, so she added this in there. Let me just start with this. I'm all over the place because there are extra things in this box. Okay, so this looks like, it says it's a fizzy bubble scoop. I'm assuming, okay, this says hold under warm running water or just place in the bath and let it dissolve, agitate water to create fizzy bubbles. So I'm thinking that this is like a bubble bar and she knows the scents that I like. So this, um, it's scented in bubble gum, which is one of my favorite bath scents. Oh, and that, oh my gosh. Oh, it, well, first of all, it's really big. Um, oh my gosh, this is a really, really good bubblegum scent. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just throw out another company's name. I try not to do that in my demos, but I don't mind doing it in my unboxings. This is, um, reminds me of my absolute very favorite bubblegum scent from the Philly Fizzlers. So this is what that reminds me of. Oh, it smells so, so good. Thank you, Rachel. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good. And it's really cute because it looks like an ice cream scoop, which is why it's called a fizzy bubble scoop. Okay, so we've got that. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Blueberry granite. <laughs> I'm assuming that's blueberry pomegranate. I've never tried her scrubs. My camera might be at a weird angle. If it is, I apologize. I can't tell until my video's over. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's so pretty. Yep, blueberry and pomegranate. Okay, I've got to open this. Yeah, I've got to keep this. Oh, look, oh my gosh, it's glittery on the top. How cute is that? Oh, that smells so good. Oh, it's super fruity. Now, I'm not going to just dig down in the top because you guys know that I don't do that, but I will be taking this in there with me very, very soon. Look how cute that is. Oh, my goodness. 
Thank you so much, Rachel. Thank you so much. Okay, so those are awesome. And I'm gonna get rid of this box. I think that's the only, those are the only other things in there. She's a sweetheart. Okay. Now, we have these four adorable boxes. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see. Hang on one second, you guys. Let me just double make sure what these are before I just jump into them because I don't want to tear them all open because they are going to be gifts. So hang on one second. All right, guys. So I'm back and I have figured out what I have from Fizz the Love to save this uh, video a little bit of time. Okay, so these are actually called, these little snowmen that I am dying over, they're actually called jingle balls. I thought they were named snowballs or some type of snowman and that's why I was a little bit confused, but they're called jingle balls. Now you guys look at this snowman. Okay, his little head, let me turn him upside down, it's like a little snow globe. His head has little, um, you know, looks like little um, like styrofoam balls. How cute is that? I'm seriously, this is this is, I live for this stuff. I just said that, but look at this bath bomb. It's terribly, terribly adorable. Um, so this is scented in winter candy apple and apple Jolly Rancher bubble frosting. So now the good news about this, and I'm going to demo this ASAP. Now I've had this box for a couple of days. I just haven't had a chance to unbox it. And I was waiting for another box or two to come in. Um, like I said, the one from Cat got lost, so I was kind of waiting to do them all at once. Um, so I got one for the giveaway. Now this one has a little blue hat. That's why I wanted to, um, and I knew they had a couple of different colors, so I wanted to go ahead and, and see if I had two different colors, and I do. So I'm going to do the red one. I actually like the blue one better, but I think that this will look kind of cuter for the demo with a contrast. Um, and then I got yet another one because I do plan on doing another giveaway soon. Um, after this one. I don't know if I'll do it on another platform or if I will do it in January. But anyway, I definitely wanted to get more than one of these, more than two of these, because I don't actually see them on her Etsy shop right now. Um, so I just knew that I had to get some while I could. Now she also sent me this, which when I did see this on her Instagram, just Instantly when I saw it, I just thought it was absolutely adorable. This is called Favorite Things, and it's scented in a strawberry shortcake, which is also one of my favorite bath bomb scents. It's really, really cute. I think it's really unique. It's got a butterfly stamp on the side. Little flower embellishment on the top. And that's also, it's just one of my favorite scents. I can't smell it through the wrapper. It's sealed up super, super good. So yeah, it's sent it in strawberry shortcake and she also sent this to me which is just so sweet so I'm hoping to get through this I probably I, I'm gonna tell you right now I'm not gonna get to this until January but anyway so um that is what I have from Fizz the Love so that is gonna come real 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 soon and so we're gonna get into the twisted allure and then when cat stuff comes I will splice that into this video but cute are those you guys so anyway I'm gonna put those in the giveaway so if you're not able to get these on her um, Etsy shop right now you will have a chance for the giveaway so let me just switch out the boxes and I'll be right back all right so on to twisted allure I don't think any of this is for me <laughs> um, Lisa just keeps coming out with this all kinds of different scents and um, new sugar scrubs and body butters and gift sets and like I have a problem. I just need to stop, but I can't um, So, you know, I decided okay Well, I want to keep ordering and I want to keep trying or at least like sniffing these scents So I'll just just buy gifts, right? Um, so most of this is for my daughter, but I think um, no, I don't think I bought one of these for the giveaway. Anyway, let me um, let me look in. We'll see um, Okay so, her card is always on the top like, oh, okay, so she started putting samples back in hers. I saw on her Instagram that she was making a lot of soap samples. There's a little skull. Oh, okay, vanished. Ooh, I don't know what scent that is. 
let's try it and see. I should probably know this, but I don't recall if she said what vanished it smells like. Oh, it's familiar to me. Oh my gosh. I can't remember. Like it triggers, like I know that it's familiar and it smells really good, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. That's, I know that's weird, but anyway, that smells really good. Um, it may be something new that she has coming that's not out yet. Okay, so this, um, let me get the one that's not in the gift set yet. Um, okay, so this is a brand new sugar scrub from her. And it is scented in peppermint bark. So this is white chocolate and peppermint. And it's got a little Santa Claus soap in the top. That is just so cute. She does that with a lot of hers. Not all of them, but there's usually glitter or um, some kind of drizzle or soap in the top of hers in some way. Oh my gosh. Now, you know what? It's a little more... Um, white chocolatey or sweet than it is minty and my daughter loves the mint this smells like um like a candy and one of the reason i love of course this um her formula is amazing which is why i love it so much but her scents are just they're some of my very very favorite scents and across the board i mean all of her scents are delicious that i've tried um but the mint is light and the scent is candy-like, and it's a really pretty peppermint bark scent. So, anyway, I'm not huge on mint. Like, I like a light mint. So, um, I like this a lot, but I got these mint scents for my daughter because she loves mint. Loves mint. And I like it, too, but I don't like a super strong mint. And I should know that Lisa would just balance it out and make it really pretty. I also love um, Rock and Oil. Puts mints and um, Cat Crafted Baths uses mint, and they have really nice mint scents as well. Spearmint, Wintergreen, those kinds of scents. Okay, now this is the first gift set I have got from um, Twisted Allure, and her gift sets, her mystery bags, those kinds of things, oh, they look so freaking cool. But Personally, I'm more like a cherry picker. I'm just real particular. You guys probably know that if you watch my channel a lot. So if there's like one or two things that maybe like, I'm not real big on lip scrub. Um, or if they're different items and like I might love that scent or that might not be my favorite. I'm just a cherry picker. That's just how I am by nature. Um, so anyway, I got this for my daughter as a gift. and. I thought these looked really cool. I thought that my daughter would love the scent. I'll probably love it too, but this, I just couldn't pass this one up. But anyway, so her gift sets and mystery bags and all that, they're perfect for gift giving. Perfect. And if you're not like incredibly particular about every little thing you get, I just I had to buy one. I just had to buy one because they're just so, so cute. And I mean, her packaging is just really awesome on these. And you can tell she loves to put these together. You can tell she just has a lot of fun with them. Um, okay, so this looks like just a little, just a little name tag that you can stick on the outside of the box. And they're all color coordinated. They're just adorable. They're just absolutely adorable. Okay, so this is the Killer Snowman. And since this is for my daughter, I'm going to take it out and show it to you because I just, I had to open it anyway. Okay, so there's a little candy cane that goes with it. Um, so here's the bath bomb. And she's had this bath bomb before, and I've almost gotten it, but I haven't. So it looks like it's going to be really cool. Because it's got the little blood drips down the side, and it's got blue on the bottom, and it's got the little soap in the top. And, of course, I love coffin bombs. And it has the same scent of the matching soap in it. Okay, so let me tell you guys what the scent is. <laughs> let me not get ahead of myself. Okay, this is an airy white musk with fruity citrus, sweet raspberries, peppermint, and dark chocolate. Now, I don't smell the mint, and I don't smell the white chocolate. This does smell like a light musk with some fruit. 
It doesn't smell anything like this. When I ordered it, I thought, I don't know, maybe I'm going too minty and chocolatey, but they're very different. This also has a couple little candies in it, but the other awesome thing is it's got a body butter and a sugar scrub, and you guys know how I feel about her sugar scrubs. I'm obsessed. Her pores are always filled to the top. Mm. It's definitely musky. Very pretty. I haven't had a blue one yet, and blue's my favorite color. It's not for me. <laughs> I'm just saying it's cool looking. Sparkling snowflakes. Yeah, that's what she calls this scent, is sparkling snowflakes. Okay, so it's really pretty. It's very feminine. It does not smell like something you could eat. I think this is adorable. So this is a perfect gift for my daughter. Why am I putting that back in there? Okay, so um, I definitely think that her gift sets are just, they're adorable. Um, I definitely would buy one again. Just put this back and then nobody will know that I even got into it. Okay, how freaking cute. Okay, so I also, um, I am giving away two Twisted Allure Sugar Scrubs in my next giveaway. I don't think I unboxed them because I was just like, I think that's all I had ordered in general, maybe for a couple weeks, so I didn't want to do an unboxing for like three Sugar Scrubs. But I'm giving away two scents that I don't think that you guys have seen me do. And then I kept one of those for myself. So those are kind of going to be new as far as um, me describing them for you. So um, anyway, stay tuned for that. And um, I should have my Cat Crafted Baths unboxing for you in just a few seconds for you guys. And I think I only got a couple of things for her. But like I said, they are going in, um, or at least one of them is going in the giveaway. So stay tuned for that. And I should be right back for you in just a second. So anyway, hope you enjoyed all this. I think it's really, really cute. All right, guys. So my Cat Crafted Baths box is finally arrived. Um, it's actually the next day for me. Um, this box actually didn't come until 7 o'clock last night, so I didn't get a chance to unbox it. But I also got um, my last Witch Baby order of the year. I got um, some Bury Me With Diamond Scrub last week, and then they came out with another product that I really, really like the scent of. I'm not crazy, crazy about most Witch Baby scents, but there are a few that I really, really love. So I had to go ahead and place another order, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that too. But let's go ahead and start with Cat Crafted. And like I said, she just tracked this down for me, and I just appreciated that so much because it just was like a week late, and she gets stuff out like so quick. But um, it was because of the storm. It got mixed up somewhere at the post office. So. so let me just read the little invoice that came with it, and let me show you her card. Okay, so hers always comes with a funny little note. Okay, um, and I read it to you last time, but it does say um, that if you're reading this, your parcel has arrived safely, and it also always says that um, contrary to popular belief, bath bombs do expire, so definitely use them within 120 days. And a couple of you guys have asked me that before, so just um, for reference, that is the case. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is, let's see. Okay. I'm going to move this back here. Okay. So this is called Kitty in the Tree. And this was inspired by one of her little kitties that's passed. Which is so sweet. And from what I saw of this demo on her Instagram page, this is going to have a lot of really, really pretty colors in it. As per usual with her bombs, 
And I think, let me make sure this is mine. Okay, this is mine, and I also got one for my giveaway. And this smells like spiced cider. Because her little kitty cat used to hide up in her tree, and it's got a little picture of a kitty cat drawn in it. Isn't that sweet? And it smells really good. It's a little kind of a sour cidery. It smells really good. It's so, so cute. Okay, and then like, I always forget to tell you guys, so it comes with the little petals that you can put in your bath. And there it is. I was looking for it. And there's always a charm in here. It just fell into the bottom of the bag. So I've got a little collection of her charms going on now. And this one, of course, is a little kitty cat. Let's see if I can show you better. It's a little kitty cat. How sweet is that? So, so sweet. Okay, so this is the kitty in the tree bath bomb. Let me clean up my mess a little bit. And there's the little kitty cat charm. That is so appropriate. I don't know if they all have little kitty cats in it. They might. They absolutely might, but I don't know. Okay, so I've got one of those for myself. And she always packs hers with like, it's recycled, it looks like um, construction paper confetti. And then I have one for you guys. I'm not even gonna unwrap it. And it looks like there's something else in here. Oh my goodness, maybe two little something else's. Okay, so this looks like a little sample balm, and it says the scent is sandalwood sample. Ooh, that smells good. And then this one is, ooh, pumpkin cupcake. Mmm, mmm, that smells really good, nice and sweet. Okay, so I think that's all. This box is kind of small because I only ordered those two. And like I said, I'm keeping my orders really small now because I already have more than I can get to, but I had to have this bomb. Thank you, Kat. Thank you, thank you for everything. Thank you for getting these out so quick, even though the post office misplaced them. And thank you so much for finding it and for my two little sample bombs. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to get down to the witch baby box. And there's not much in here, so I'm just going to pull them out over to the side. Okay, so when I said I don't care for many witch baby scents, it's because... Um, of course, my love for like the sweet and the foodie and the fruity scents. That's a new sticker. That's pretty cool. It's better than the last one I got was just a teeny tiny square. Of course, they, um, they're not giving out samples anymore. So this is kind of in place of the samples. And the card that comes with it always has the 5% off card with the um, abracadabra as a coupon code, 5% off, which is like nothing, but still is better than nothing, I suppose. Anyway, um, so which baby scents, they're just really complex, and a lot of times they're florally or woodsy or just, um, I don't know, they're just not my favorite. But anyway, um, so the ones um, around Christmas time are a little more uh, my speed, is what I was trying to say. Okay, so the Berry Me with Diamonds is the winter berry, I think is maybe what it's called, but that's my absolute favorite witch baby scent. And the probably the second one is the Ambrosia, which is what this is. I think that this is whipped body butter. And these just came out back to back one week and then the next. Um, and the Heartbreak Hotel, I like that one too, but that was just bubble gum. And it was a little different, uh, differently scented bubble gum than just your traditional bubble gum. But I've never had, yes I have. No, 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 okay getting ahead of myself. I've never had a whipped body butter. I have had the body butter, but it's been the, um, I don't know what the, the opposite of the whipped body butter. That was sold out, so I did get the whipped because I wanted to get, um, definitely get something besides, I've got the soap in here too. 
That is so full. It's like fuller than the lid. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's around the rim. Look, that's fuller than the lid. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. This, this honestly smells like real ambrosia. Like you could eat it. That's awesome. Okay, so I don't dig down in there, but I've got to just, I've got to feel this. Okay, I like this, I think, better than the other kind. I think I do. It's really, really super thick and really almost greasy, but I still like it. It feels like the consistency, I'm talking about the other one, um, of actual, like, if you ran a stick of butter out of the refrigerator over your body. So you have to really need that kind of body butter to pull that one out. This one is really soft and um, it feels really good. I like this one. Oh, it smells really, really good. Okay, I'm glad I got that. It's just a little, um, little bit lighter. Still feels really good. Mm, love that. And then I got two soaps. I think I got two soaps. I still um, have a little bit of one from last year. This smells exactly the same. Um, should be all I got. It's just one more. Another soap. They look like the little fairy cakes. Okay, um, just real quickly. So the Bury Me With Diamonds scrub, I got three. I was so excited because I missed earlier in the year, probably like halfway through the year, the Bury Me With Diamonds bath bomb, which is my favorite one from Witch Baby. It's one of my very favorite scents, quite honestly, in a bath bomb at all. Um, came out as a throwback Thursday, and I missed it. Um, so I got three Bury Me With Diamonds scrubs when they came out. It was either on Black Friday or that same week. And I got it, and I brought it in the shower with me, and I used it, and I just was not crazy about it. The consistency to me seemed different than the, um, the Heartbreak Hotel, and I really liked that one. And I know that some other people weren't crazy about another one of the scrubs this year. It was the green one. I'm not sure what's going on with the consistency of these scrubs and why maybe that they're different, but this one was really, then, okay, one of, another one of you guys questioned and asked me when I got mine if they were filled all the way to the top because hers weren't. I don't know if they had settled. After I used mine, I thought maybe this was the case. It was really dry. It wasn't as moisturizing, but... It kind of, once I, I got out a spoonful and I put it, put it on my legs, it just kind of disappeared and dissipated like it was missing a couple ingredients. I know that's not, I'm sure that's not true, but it was like it just didn't go very far. I felt like I almost used half a jar and I still didn't get the usage out of the amount as I did with the others. I know I'm rambling, but I just was not pleased. So I had the scent on me and it smelled on me like half the day and I loved it as far as the scent goes but I just didn't like the consistency so I was disappointed in that. This seems really good just rubbing it on my skin. But anyway, so I really, really, really hope the bath bombs come back sometime soon. That's just terribly long-winded. Anyway, let me just go ahead and end this right now and tell you that I'm gonna do my giveaway really, really quickly. Um, soon I hope in the next couple of days or at least a couple of videos and I'm gonna have a couple of demos coming out soon with my um, bath bombs hopefully this one and the little snowman the jingle ball snowman from does the love and um, yeah I'll get those out as soon as possible thanks to thanks for sticking with me till the end of my witch baby ramble I wasn't even uh, expecting to put this one in the video but anyway thanks you guys I appreciate it and I'll see you next time bye bye